last week was President Trump's first international trip. Instead of his visits and uh, looking at the effects on U.S.-Israel relations, everyone was focused on Donald-Melania relations. The thing that got an enormous amount of media attention had to do with Melania Trump, the first lady, and some video. Was this an actual slap, or did she just pull her hand away? She pulled her hand away, but I didn't quite see the contact of a slap. Wow. <laughs> Leave it to Fox News not to recognize what rejection from a woman looks like. <laughs> she, uh... She, she slapped his hand away, which probably means she wants a promotion first, right? <laughs> now, on the next leg of Trump's trip, which took him to the Vatican, <laughs> Trump's hands really couldn't catch a break, because this time, the First Lady gave him the old down low, too slow, <laughs> which made me wonder, like, when you watch that, do you think maybe Melania is jealous? Maybe that's what this was about? Oh, now you want to hold hands, Donald. You sure you wouldn't rather be holding that orb? <laughs> I remember when you used to touch me like the orb, Donald. <laughs> I told you, Melania, me and the orb was a one-time thing. <laughs> the orb means nothing to me, means nothing. I was barely hard. <laughs> Normally, when Trump has a bad day, we know Trump watches Fox and Friends and yells at the TV. But today, he did the same thing, but we all got to listen in. <laughs> and you could tell from the start that this was going to be special. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. President. Well, good morning, and I picked a very, very special day because it's Melania's birthday. So I said, let's do it on Melania's birthday. So happy birthday to Melania. All right, hopefully there'll be visits in between, but have you decided on, or do you want to tell us what you got her? Well, I better not get into that, because I may get in trouble. Maybe I didn't get her so much. I'll tell you what, she has done... I got her a beautiful card. <laughs> How did Trump mess up the world's easiest question? It's like they threw him a softball, and he swung and hit himself in the dick. I mean, it's her birthday. I can't believe that Donald didn't get Melania anything for her birthday. Now she might think he's not a very good husband. <laughs> also, I would pay anything to know what he wrote inside that card that he definitely didn't actually get. We're like, roses are red, love is a mystery. I had a historic electoral college victory. <laughs> Why did Trump say he called into Fox and Friends? Because it was Melania's birthday. Like, what does that mean? He's like, honey, I've got a great celebration planned for us today. I'm gonna talk to some TV people while sitting on the toilet. <laughs> like, oh, thank you, Donald. My life is a beautiful dream. <laughs> I know a lot of people think we here at The Daily Show are nothing but haters when it comes to the White House, but that's not true. I've always been a fan of Melania Trump. You know, as a fellow immigrant, she inspires me. Because I know that I can never become president of the United States, but if I work hard, I might become first lady. <laughs> so she's my role model, which is why today, Melania Trump is in my thoughts. First lady Melania Trump is hospitalized tonight after undergoing a surgical procedure on her kidney. The White House saying the procedure was for a benign condition and that there were no complications. President Trump tonight visiting his wife, who's expected to remain at the military hospital for the rest of the week. They're saying that they want to go ahead and keep her for a week, which is unusual in a case like this, but it could be because she's the first lady and they just want to pay extra attention. Yeah, she's staying an extra week. <laughs> I feel like after a couple of hours, the doctor told her she could go home and Melania was like, no, I should stay. <laughs> I should stay until you check everything out. I stay longer. I was like, okay, well, Miss First Lady, since we're keeping you longer, your husband is on his way to visit. Okay, pull the plug. <laughs> We've tried everything. Pull the plug. It's like, you're not on life support. I don't care. Just try it. See what happens. <laughs> What's wild about the story is, look at these two people. How is she the one with the health issue? <laughs> How? I mean, Trump's blood type is KFC positive. <laughs> he does not live a healthy life. At a rally last week, Trump vowed to fight for the rights of the LGBTQ community. 
You know, the weirdest part about this uh, whole Melania thing is she went into the hospital. It was supposed to be like a two-day thing. Then she was there for a week. Then it was two weeks. Then we didn't see her. And then now it's three weeks. And then they announced that maybe we'll see her at the end of June. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what was even stranger was that Trump was... He was walking out of the, 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 the White House, and then he was being interviewed by the press gaggle. And then someone said, like, where's Melania? And he was like, oh, she's fine. She's looking at us right now. And he pointed at a window, and then all the press turned, and there was no one there. <laughs> and then he just walked away. And I was just like, is this, is this like a real thing? Is this... Like, he almost said it like he's being haunted by Melania. <laughs> like, he sees a ghost that no one else sees, but he's, like, so dumb that he doesn't know he's being haunted. Because I feel like Trump would be that kind of guy. He's so, like, self-absorbed that he wouldn't even know that he's being haunted. Like, the ghost would be there and be like, ooh. <laughs> There'd be like little kids riding bicycles in the White House, and he'd be like, Baron, your friends are here. Do you guys know about my electoral college victory? Like the lady from the ring would come out of the TV, and then Trump would grope her, and she'd go back in. She'd have, she'd have to like testify in front of Congress. Melania is leaving Donald Trump behind in Washington <laughs> to go visit Africa. First Lady Melania Trump leaves on a week-long four-nation tour of Africa today. It will be her first extended international journey without the president. She'll visit Ghana, Malawi, Kenya, and Egypt. I'm so proud of the work this administration is doing through USAID and others. <laughs> and look forward to the opportunity to take the message of my Be Best campaign to many of the countries and children throughout Africa. Oh, man, this is so sweet of Melania. She's going to Africa to fight cyberbullying. The only issue is that most people in Africa are still waiting to get cyber, so I mean... <laughs> and... And by the way... By the way, if you're paying attention, you'll realize this is yet another instance of the First Lady publicly undermining her husband's message, right? He said LeBron is dumb. She praised LeBron and offered to visit his school. He called African countries shitholes. She chose Africa for her first solo trip. Yeah, he roots for the Yankees. She roots for heart disease. You see what's happening here? <laughs> anyway, good luck on your trip, Melania. Uh, I just hope the clothes the kids are wearing aren't too awkward for you. <laughs> There's a wardrobe malfunction that's blowing up the news. Breaking news, Melania Trump making a surprise visit to children at the border but did she hurt the message she was trying to send with an unfortunate wardrobe choice? The first lady wearing a jacket, bearing the words, I really don't care, do you? Wow. I really don't care, do you? Wow. It looks like when Melania was in the hospital, she had her last <laughs> removed. <laughs> although, although, it is kind of sweet that she made a jacket out of her and Donald's wedding vows. That's really cool. <laughs> I like that. Look, we, we could spend forever talking about how out of touch this makes Melania seem, but I don't really care, do you? You know, Melania Trump with her outfits when she goes to visit people, I, like, I don't know which way it is, because, I mean, like, everyone has different theories. Some people think, you know, because she said, I'm going to the border to see what the real story is with, uh, with the migrant children, uh, you know, the, the immigrants that have come in and they're, they're locked up. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. She's going to go and, like, you know, shed a light on it. And then she throws on a jacket that says, I don't really care, do you? And then part of me was going, like, oh, maybe she didn't pay attention. She just, you know, it's tone deaf. She didn't think about it. And then her spokesperson was like, hey, no, there's no hidden message. It was like, we just didn't think of it. Sorry about that. And then Trump came out and tweeted, and he's like, that jacket was about the fake news. <laughs> Melania's showing that she doesn't care. And it's like, she just said there's no hidden message. And he's like, hidden message. <laughs> he's just like, what do you... Like, I'm not gonna lie. When I see things like this, it genuinely makes me believe that Donald Trump didn't collude with Russia. Because I think he would have told us by now. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put it out there. I, I do believe, I do believe we're gonna find out people around him tried to collude, but I think he would have, he tells us everything. <laughs> he just cannot, he told us why he fired James Comey. He tells every single secret. I don't think he'd be able to keep it in. He'd like, at some point he would have been like, and that's why I colluded, they came to me. I said, let's do it. <laughs> I said, let's do it. Melania Trump. You know those movies where uh, the beautiful but mysterious woman with a foreign accent is actually a secret assassin? <laughs> well, maybe we should have seen this coming. 
to a dramatic move by Melania Trump that apparently blindsided top White House aides. Melania Trump's office releasing a statement publicly blasting a national security official. The first lady called for Deputy National Security Advisor Mira Ricardo to be fired, complaining directly to her husband about being unhappy with Ricardo during her first solo trip to Africa in October. The two fought over seating on the plane and using National Security Council resources for the trip. The First Lady's office issued a statement saying she no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. Sweet Lord, Melania does not mess around. <laughs> we barely hear from her, and then when she does speak, it's to fire somebody? And, like, whatever this lady did must have made Melania so mad, because you realize Trump cheats on her, and she's pretty chill about it. <laughs> But then Melania goes on a flight and all of a sudden she's all like, bitch took aisle seat. <laughs> and like, honestly, I don't even know who this is. Mira Ricardell? Who is this person that they're firing? Like they're running out of people we know to fire. <laughs> this is like Walking Dead season six. Oh no, they killed Derek. <laughs> There's actually some fake news that is plaguing the president right now. It's about Melania. The fake Melania conspiracy is back after the First Lady's visit to Alabama and Georgia this week. The theory that Melania Trump had a body double for public appearances began in 2017, but that was denied by fact checkers. Now though, again, Twitter users are comparing this to other images, arguing it's not the same woman. But many also commenting lighting and makeup are likely causes for the mistaken identity. How is this on the news? How is this even a thing? Of course, Melania looks a little different on some days, all right? She's a person. Every person looks different day to day. This was me, like, two months ago, okay? <laughs> this was me three years ago, all right? This was me yesterday, when I found out J-Lo is engaged, okay? <laughs> I look different. I look different because, clearly, I'm so happy for her and, like, the 20th best Yankee. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I just... I wanted A-Rod for myself. <laughs> so, please, guys, let's stop with this whole fake Melania business, all right? Because it's not true. Although, I will say this. If you do zoom in on that picture, there is something a little suspicious. And that is that... They're holding hands. <laughs> so on second thought, maybe fake Melania. <laughs> While her husband has struggled to get his approval rating over 40%, Melania has consistently remained the country's most popular Trump. And personally, I love her too. Because we have so much in common. We're both immigrants. Neither of us would be here if it weren't for Donald Trump. And I'm just gonna put it out there, we're both style icons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Melania. This bitch stole your look. <laughs> now... Now, the reason I've been thinking about Melania lately is because in the wake of Trump's recent immigration crackdown, I've started to notice something that's got me really concerned. I think Donald Trump is trying to deport Melania. <laughs> no, and you might be asking, why would he want to deport his wife? I don't know. I don't know, but things haven't exactly been perfect between them. First of all, it's no secret that Melania barely spends any time at the White House. Secondly, when he tried to hold her hand in public, she tried to slap it away like a Slovenian Dikembe Mutombo. You remember that? <laughs> and who knows? It may have even created some tension between them when Trump allegedly banged a porn star and paid her to be quiet, and then the whole country found out about it. <laughs> anyway, you know, normal relationship issues. And I know it sounds crazy. Donald Trump wants to deport his wife? But if you look at all of Trump's immigration policies, right, a lot of people think that he just hates immigrants. But when you put them all together, you start to notice a pattern. All of his policies seem to be aimed at his wife. <laughs> For example, one of the immigration issues Trump complains about most is people who come to the United States the wrong way and work in the country illegally. And everyone always assumes that because he's racist, he's talking about Mexicans. 
But I don't think it's a coincidence that that same complaint could apply to his very own wife. New questions about Melania Trump's immigration status when she first came to the U.S. The Associated Press reporting she didn't have the proper visa for her modeling work. I came here on visa. I flew to Slovenia every few months to stamp it and came back. Trump insists she got her visa stamped every few months. If that's accurate, it would mean she had a type of visa, possibly a tourist visa, that needs to be updated periodically. But that type of visa does not allow working in the United States. When this controversy first bubbled up, the Trump campaign promised that Melania would have a press conference to clear it all up. That press conference never happened. That's right. Melania's staff promised that she would hold a press conference to clear up her questionable immigration history, and then it never happened. Now, to be fair, it's only been three years since that promise was made, okay? <laughs> and you guys don't even know how hard it is to throw together a press conference in three years. Like, you, you have to get a podium, and, and, like, that's pretty much it. But still... <laughs> but still... It seems a little convenient that Trump would bring up the whole legal work thing when he knows his own wife has a shady visa history. And clearly, when that failed, Donald tried to switch things up. Because then, he started complaining about how lots of foreigners are taking advantage of America's immigration system by claiming that they were special when, in fact, they were not. Now, again, people assume Trump was talking about Indian computer programmers in Silicon Valley. But if you follow the clues, you realize this guy was actually slamming his wife. The Washington Post reports that questions linger about how Melania Trump scored the so-called Einstein visa to enter the United States when she was a model. In 2001, she was granted a green card in the elite EB1 program. It's designed for academic researchers or people in other fields, such as Olympic athletes and Oscar-winning actors. Granted to people who demonstrate sustained national and international acclaim, and it's usually in the fields of arts, business, or in academic research. Now, only 3,376 EB1 green cards were issued that year. Five went to people from Slovenia. Yeah, that's right. Melania got a green card through the Einstein visa program which seems strange. Although I guess if you spend enough time standing next to Donald, anyone starts to look like Einstein. <laughs> well, almost anyone. And you know, you know, guys, the more you look at it, the more it seems like Donald Trump is trying to deport his wife. Because who can forget one of his biggest anti-immigration crusades? Chain migration. The president wants to reform the visa lottery system and end so-called chain migration. Then you have chain migration. <laughs> chain migration. Chain migration, you come in and you bring your whole damn family. A guy comes in and then you have to bring his aunt, his uncle, his father, his grandfather, his grandparents. A single immigrant can bring in virtually unlimited numbers of distant relatives. Yes, one of the things Donald Trump hates most about America's immigration policy is that immigrants' families can come live with them in the U.S. Now, even though Donald Trump says that, I want my family back home watching the show to know that this is not true, okay? <laughs> you cannot bring unlimited relatives to America. Do you guys hear me? Nang <laughs> In fact, the law even says that you guys can't crash on my couch and I'm actually not even in town that weekend. That's what the law says, <laughs> Uncle Mang Mang. Now, it was really slick for Trump to make it seem like this thing was about uncles and aunts and cousins, but clearly, there was someone that he was actually aiming at all along. President Trump's in-laws slipping in and out of a Manhattan federal building where they took the oath of U.S. citizenship. Sources tell ABC News that First Lady Melania Trump sponsored her Slovenian-born parents, Victor and Amalia Nobs, taking advantage of the same policy President Trump has denigrated as chain migration and vowed to end. That's right. Melania Trump helped her parents chain migrate to the U.S. So that's what Donald Trump was trying to stop. He was trying to, trying to turn his in-laws into outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> Which is super hardcore. And as if this wasn't enough evidence that Donald Trump is trying to deport his wife, then how do you explain the new policy his administration announced this week? Huh? They came out saying that immigrants who receive assistance from the government may not be allowed to stay in the United States. Well, guess who lives in a free house provided by the United States? <laughs> Melania <laughs> Trump!
Trump. Donald, I see what you're doing, Donald. I see what you're doing, and I'm not gonna let it happen. In fact, we're not gonna let this thing happen. Daily Show fans, join me now. Help me get the word out by tweeting hashtag don't deport Melania. <laughs> because if this great immigrant is forced to leave this country, then the United States can never truly be best. I was thinking, I think it would be amazing if in some world Melania divorces Trump because of the porn star and then gets the White House in the divorce. <laughs> no, because in my head, I was like, I was just playing it all out. I would be like, it would be the most amazing thing ever. Like, I could see the movie in my head now. <laughs> you know? Like, she has the White House. He's at a Motel 6. Like, he's just walking around without pants the whole day. <laughs> right? And then, like, foreign leaders are coming to visit him, so they have to go to the motel to visit him. <laughs> but they don't know. Like, the prime minister, like, drives to the White House, and then when they get there, they're like, we have to do the president. Melania's on the lawn. She's like, he doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> he doesn't live here no more. He knows what he did. <laughs> you can find him at the motel. And he's like, what do you mean, the motel? And then they, like, drive to the motel, and it's, like, one of those, like, Florida Project motels. <laughs> There's chaos people, kids playing outside, someone fixing a car. You know, Donald Trump's up. You know, when the prime minister gets out, he's like, are we at the right place? <laughs> he's like, yeah, he lives in 16B. That's where he is. 16B. And Donald Trump comes out, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to it. This is my new home. Him, like, telling the prime minister, so we're going to be sharing a room. Your bed is this one. <laughs> By the way, you speak Spanish, right, Mr. President? Yeah, you do? I need you to talk to my neighbor, Felipe. He's always playing music. <laughs> Felipe, come meet the president of Mexico. <laughs> Tell him I don't like his loud music, please. I am a president. You cannot ask me to translate for you. Are you saying you don't speak Spanish? <laughs> no, I do. So then tell him what I said. <laughs>